Let's talk about Spotify entering the war industry. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, a lot of controversy going around about Spotify uh, being a giant, huge, massive piece of shit uh, that is destroying the music industry far worse than Napster or the guy from Metallica ever did. Arguably destroying the music industry far worse than Nickelback ever did. That's a big statement. I understand that that's a big statement, but that's how strongly I hate Spotify. I have I I have um, personal reasons to hate Spotify, along with uh, professional and sociopolitical reasons to hate Spotify. Um, Spotify deleted my entire podcast in 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 twenty twenty. In 2019, I wanted to veer away from from Spotify anyway, uh, because it's just like I knew I knew that they were shit to artists. I think in 2019, I I made a full full dollar twenty off of my streams in Spotify. In 2020, uh, every month I would get these notifications about how many listeners and how many streams I got. You know, it's like five or six thousand streams on Spotify. I got maybe 25 cents for it. Maybe. If I'm lucky, I saw a quarter. Uh, you know, and, and we all kind of knew that Spotify was taking advantage of not just independent artists that release their um, content on Spotify, but we're talking about big artists as well. Uh, nobody but the CEO of Spotify is really making money from Spotify. Uh, the CEO of Spotify and Joe Rogan, who got $100 million. Uh, to exclusively be on Spotify, right? Exclusively have his show on Spotify. So now um, everybody's doing that Spotify wrapped bullshit that they do every single year. And, I, you know, I participated in it last year as well. And and here's the thing, man. This is why a lot of people, including like lefty, anti-war, anti-establishment comedians like myself and Graham Elwood and Lee Camp and Ron Placone and, um, you know, the, the list goes on and on of all these comics that are on Spotify. It's because we want to be seen by people. And at that point, we had kind of relegated to the fact that, well, we know the people aren't going to leave Spotify just because we're not on it. But I think over the course of the last year, and I also will attribute this to the wave of strikes and labor action we have seen this year. Artists are getting in on that shit too, man. And before we even go on, I will I will let you guys know this. I am not just saying this. Um, I kept my stuff on Spotify, yes, because I wanted to be visible. I wanted people to be able to find my shit, especially when uh, you know when people were staying home. A uh, lot more people were using Spotify. A lot more people were probably getting Spotify subscriptions. Um, so I kept my stuff on there so that people can listen to my stuff. It was also another way to, um, have people be able to listen to my stuff for free without having to pay for a download, right? Because if you have Spotify on your desktop, uh, you can listen to full length albums without purchasing a subscription. Uh, and so I, 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 I kept my stuff on there for that reason. But now because of all of this stuff. I went ahead and removed all of my stuff off of Spotify and Amazon Music because fuck Amazon too. Uh, but I did. I uh, So I think within the next 30 days, you will no longer see any of my stuff, any of my albums on Spotify. The only thing with me on it that you might hear on Spotify is the song that I am on uh, my ex-wife's album. I did one. I did no. I did two songs, I believe, with her uh, on that album, and that is uh, that is the only probably track that you'll hear me on uh, if you're listening. If you're trying to find me on Spotify, I would encourage you guys to join other um, streaming platforms. I personally use Pandora because Pandora, again, they're not amazing. But they but they pay their artists a lot better. I actually get real money from from fucking Pandora streams. So if you give a shit about your if you give a shit about your artist friends, if you give a shit about arts per, uh, the arts period, you get you care about musicians and and comedians and spoken word artists and so on and so forth. Uh, 
cancel your Spotify subscription. Man, I made that statement yesterday on um on social media and uh and and I mean everybody was I mean, people were very kind and cool about it where they were like seriously like what do you want us to do? Divest. Divest from Spotify. Cancel your subscription. Get rid of your account. That's my next step. My next step is to go in and cancel all of the accounts that I have. I never paid Spotify, like I never got a paid subscription, but I'm just going to delete my account. And I'm going to delete them from my website. I know I you know, divest from it. Pandora is a little bit more expensive than than Spotify, but it allows you to do basically the exact same thing. And and your money actually goes to support the artists that you listen to on on Pandora. They have a much better stream rate. Uh, I've heard good things about Tidal as well. Again, Tidal is another corporate fucking entity, so they're not paying their artists as well as they could. But you know, Spotify because comedians like from larger fucking comedy record companies were asking to get paid fairly. They just removed. They just fucking removed comedians from Spotify. Yeah, this guy, this guy's a robber baron. This guy's a robber baron. That's what he is. No one goes to Spotify because it's Spotify. People go to Spotify because artists are on Spotify. That's the thing that a lot of people said, right? Um, that's the thing that a lot of people said. A lot of people said, well, look, I listen to this very specialized genre of music. That's the thing that I like, and I don't know if that's available. I've looked on YouTube. I've looked on this, that, and the third, and I can't find it. Um, and, uh, you know, I... I don't know what to do. And I, and I said, yeah, I, I get it. I understand. But don't you want that specialized genre of artists to get paid well? So, you know, my, my suggestion to you guys, and perhaps this story that we're going to go into now, it might convince some folks to say, oh, fuck, if that's what my subscription is going towards, I do not want to be a part of that. My suggestion is this. You really want Spotify to know that what they're doing is wrong and will not be accepted by society. Uh, and really strike a blow to capitalists all over the place. Fine. Uh, hit, them where, hit them towards the only thing that fucking matters to them. Money. But it can't just be one or two people doing it and everybody else going, boy, that's really nice. Good job. No, you, you can say that. But then you have to take the action, too. This has to be a large-scale effort. Cancel your Spotify subscription as a consumer. Cancel it. Deactivate your Spotify account. Don't even do the free shit. Don't even do the desktop shit. Cancel the whole fucking thing. Get rid of your entire fucking Spotify account. And if you're an artist, get rid of your shit from Spotify. Do not keep it on there. You are the reason why why customers go to Spotify, not because of the platform that is Spotify. They're going there because there's certain genres of music that they put up. The reason why Pandora might not have it is because Pandora is a little bit more selective, um, especially when it comes to independent music. They're a little bit more selective. They're not as selective with comedy because there's not a lot of comedy on Pandora, but now there might be, which means that they might um, be start becoming a little bit more selective about it. Uh, I, I, I hope not. I hope they kind of open up their uh, selectiveness. I, I, I just hope that they're a little bit more friendly towards the artists again and allow some of these artists that are not getting paid on, 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 on Spotify to join something like Pandora and actually earn an income. Because all of that, again, if, if there's a new wave of customers going to Pandora, that's that's just good for Pandora, right? Under Especially under a capitalist model. But yeah, man, cancel your fucking accounts. Get rid of your music from there. Switch over to Bandcamp. Switch over to Pandora. Switch over to Tidal. I know my shit's on Tidal. I just got a notification from Tidal today about the way that they're going to structure their payment stuff. Uh, so that's kind of interesting.
I would wager to bed that it has everything to do with this fucking Spotify bullshit. So here's what Spotify is doing now. Amidst all of this craziness, amidst the fact that they removed comedy from their platform, not all comedy, but a, a good portion. Like they took a bunch of fucking comedians out, like John Mulaney, uh, I think Tom Segura, you know, like I, I, I like these guys. They're not my super huge favorites, but they're very talented comedians. They're very good at what they do, you know, very different from what I do, which is why I appreciate them. But they're but they're all gone from fucking Spotify. Why? Because they were like, hey, I think we should get paid better. Because we're bringing people to your platform amidst all of this controversy. The CEO of Spotify, Daniel Ek, is now on the board. He bought, he spent 100 million euros and bought a seat on the board of Helsing, which is an AI and war manufacturing company. It's a war corporation that specializes in artificial intelligence. Uh, so this is what the AI does. This is this is what this company does. This is what the Sp CEO of Spotify has invested and become a board member of, right? This is what your money helped him do. Your Spotify subscriptions helped him get on the board of a war corporation that specializes in artificial intelligence. Your money is actively helping black and brown people around the world get murdered. For the sake of imperialism and for the sake of profit. Is that convincing you enough to get rid of your fucking Spotify subscription forever? Do you want your $9.99 a month or your $15.99 a month to go to words death and destruction of not just the human race but the planet itself because the war industry is the biggest polluter on the planet? Here's what this company does. 100 million euros, and he's on the board of this company now. The AI uses cameras from tanks and drones to map out the battlefield in real time so that you can figure out where opponents are and strategically kill them in the most effective way possible, right? And, and if you're some kind of a weird centrist, you go, well, this is just better targeted killing. Well, how about we just stop fucking killing? Why are you justifying murder all the time? It's just, yeah, the, the, like, okay, if you're going to claim it's about terrorists and, and terrorists are killing people, what do you, 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 you think you're just going to go in there and do what an eye for an eye? That's, that's really working out for you guys? I mean, profit-wise, yes, because it's, it's the largest fucking industry in the world. Right. But they basically they're using cameras and building a battlefield in real time. And they've gamified war. So now there can be a disassociation, which means more PTSD. Oh, sorry, more PTSD, I'm sure. Because you disassociate and you and it t gets tucked into the back of your mind and your unconscious makes weird shit happen when you don't deal with things. When, when you don't deal with trauma. And now you're just creating more of it. You're just creating disassociation. Hardened veterans, that's what we need. I wonder if you could use this technology in some way to help transportation. Right? Map out bus routes based on real-time traffic using satellites and drones. Maybe not a warfare application. What about med medical technology? Could you use the same type of AI in real time to map out, you know, the the insides of somebody's body? So if something is going wrong, if their bl blood pressure is spiking or there's, there's a, a, a mass that's popping up out of somewhere or something like that, in real time, it's mapping all these changes out and letting the, letting the doctors and the techs know. What's Spotify going to use this for? Real-time AI? It's All they're going to do is use that for fucking marketing and ads. That's very likely what they're going to fucking use it for. 
Again, the only reason Daniel Eck was able to be on the board for 100 million euros, 100 million euros, 100 million euros was because of people's Spotify subscriptions and not paying artists properly. He is investing in war technology. Your fucking Spotify subscription is now going to the murder of black and brown people across the world for the sake of imperialism and profit. I will say it again till it sinks in so that you know and have to be and, and, and now you have to be OK with that. You have to be OK with your Spotify subscription, your $9.99 a month, your $15.99 a month and so on. Not only lining the coffers of an already rich man and ensuring that artists who are the reason why people are on that platform don't get paid. But while they don't get paid, this rich man whose coffers you have fucking lined has used that to invest in a company that is making weapons of war to kill people around the world. And if you're fine with that, then go ahead and stay on the platform. That's that's fine. If you're not, divest from Spotify. Cancel that subscription. Deactivate your account. And if you're an artist, especially if you're an anti-war artist, I mean, th th like I was just, I read the article and I was like, cancel all of it. And that's what I did this afternoon. If you're an anti-war artist, you need to no longer be on Spotify. Because if you're bringing your fans and they become subs subscribers of Spotify, all they're doing is contributing to that. Pandora, Tidal, Bandcamp, these are better services. Is Pandora perfect? No. I, I don't know if we are, if in my lifetime we're going to see a streaming service of any kind, video or otherwise, uh, that is going to fully treat their artists fairly and give you, you know, what, what you're worth on there. So, I mean, what is in it for Spotify ad revenue, better targeted ads, real time AI ads. I don't know. Daniel Eck has not made any comments about this. A lot of people are actually divesting from Spotify once they found out about this. And so I hope you to do too, because you will not be the lone ranger in this. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you, you will not be the lone ranger in, in Spotify divestment. And if you have, if you have a, a very, you know, obscure genre of music or comedy or what have you that you like to listen to, um, and they're not available on Pandora, then then make your voice heard. Make your voice heard to Pandora, to Tidal, to include these artists so that they don't have to be stuck with Spotify anymore. Now is the time, man. There's the, the, the labor movement is coming back. It's been coming back. We're, we're, we're kind of reaching a crescendo of what we can achieve when we organize together as the working class. Now is the time. Because if we don't push back against these corporations, and if we continue to choose convenience over morality, then these corporations are going to continue doing shit like this. Investing in fucking war technology. Not paying the people that are helping them actually earn the money. You created the platform. Cool, man. Thanks. But the reason why people come to your fucking platform is because we're on there because artists decided to, to say, this is cool. Artists are the ones that made Spotify what it is. Small business is what made Amazon what it is. And the people that make these corporations, what they are, are the ones that get fucked over the most and the reason why that cycle of trauma perpetuates is because customers continue to support them financially. I, look, I'm, I'm, I'm just as guilty as everybody else, but I'm trying to do better. Right? I'm not, I, don't, I try not to use Amazon 
as much. I, tr I, I definitely don't go through them when I need stuff unless I absolutely have to. There's like one or two supplements that I need that I can't find on, you know, at pharmacies or something. And, and unfortunately, they're only available on Amazon. So we can all do better. We just have to, we just, we just have to do it. It's scary. It's different. It's uncomfortable, right? I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you, it took me months. Uh, and, and, you know, if you give a shit about this, then that is fucking set aside a Saturday, man. That's kind of what I did. I set aside a fucking Saturday and got my music and my playlist together. I'm, I'm still kind of putting some of the playlists together. Like my workout playlist is probably not um, full. It, 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 it probably is not as good as it could be. It's probably not as good as it was when I was in college. That's for dang sure. Uh, but it's getting there slowly, but surely I'll remember an artist or a band or an album that I was like, Oh shit, I want to listen to this. Oh wow. You know, and then I go and find them and add them to my collection. So it's uncomfortable, but we're going to have to go through some discomfort to make everybody's lives a little bit better. If you on an individual level go through two hours of discomfort rebuilding something because you switched over from Spotify to Pandora, and that means that all the artists that you love and support now get to make a little bit more money, and that means that you divested from a company that is investing in death, I mean, is, aren't you going to end up feeling a lot better? That's that's my fucking rationale. That's that's my pitch to you. As some and I, obviously not to everybody because I, I don't know if everybody watching is 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 a, is a Spotify subscriber or not. But my pitch to those that are that are watching this now, man, just you know, be brave. You know, make that change. If you want to, if you want the world to be a better place, then you're going to have to take active steps and actions to do that. And as much as we want to pat ourselves on the back by saying we listen to NPR, which fucking also funds war corporations, or rather is funded by war corporations, then isn't it? I mean, aren't you just going to feel better? Cynical Girl points out, Bandcamp Friday, baby. Yes, that's right. Bandcamp Friday. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> our, our mutual friend, Cynical Girl, points out, uh, Jesse Jett said he made $25 over the whole year on Spotify. That's way more than I have made over Spotify, even with the amount of fucking streams I was getting last year. Uh, yeah. Tweeting uh, wrapped shit is just a free advertising for shitty Spotify. And yeah, it's only about the exposure for that some artists are even on there. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, this is one of the things that's frowned upon in in, co in the comedy community is exposure bucks, right? Like uh, this happens a lot in New York City where there's a lot of people that are like, bring five friends. We can't pay you, but we will we'll give you exposure to all these audience. You know, the audience that you brought yourself that audience will expose you will we'll give you exposure to them that's what spotify is spotify is is the exposure bucks of fucking the streaming world Bandcamp's player is twitter friendly that's great that's good to know as well I mean, you can do a lot of cool shit on on Pandora and Bandcamp, man. Uh, that is something that you should do. Oh, here we go. The dude better quit pay, but buying anything or paying taxes too. Everything supports the war machine. Better go to go on another platform and speak against the war machine so people can hear you. Uh, I do pretty actively go and speak out against the war industry on every single platform. The dude. Uh, and the argument you're making doesn't really make sense. 
yes, a lot of shit contributes to the war industry. The war industry is the central focal point of anything run by capitalism, which at current is the entirety of the globe. So in order to start veering away from capitalism and the war industry, we got to start somewhere. So if that start is by divesting from Spotify and starting a movement there, if that start is supporting the labor movement and strike action so that corporations like John Deere and Kellogg and Nabisco actually start paying their workers better, then that's where we need to start. You don't make a better world overnight. You make a better world by changing it from within. In, by going against what the status quo is from the inside and building outward. That's the way that it's going to have to work right now. Sorry, man, your, 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 your cynicism doesn't really make sense and your arguments aren't really holding up. It doesn't help any, it's like changing the light bulb to, it doesn't help anything except the light bulb industry and actually makes uh, environmental problems worse. By having to pretend you've done your part. Well intentions, but uh, worthless. All right. So what's your solution then? Because at least this is a solution. I mean, arguments like this are why movements fail, man. So, so you're going to continue choosing apathy because of your cynicism rather than doing something that could actually drive change positively, help the arts community, Help the art community gain independence and speak out against the war machine. And art is what drives large movements. So something that could facilitate that you don't want to do. Because you would rather choose apathy with cynicism rather than do something that drives change. This is the thing I'm talking about, man. Bold action. You're going to come up with excuses because that's what you do. You, you have resigned yourself to comfortability in your cynicism. Sorry, man, but I, I, I think you're wrong. And I think your cynicism and apathy are not serving the cause any good. So I, I, would, I would wager that, or I would encourage you and challenge you to come up with better reasons to be against supporting artists by divesting from, from Spotify.